Okay guys, so it's Asalog Log once again. Um, sorry I didn't get a full build log uh, on video, but I was kind of busy today, so this didn't really happen until midnight. And then I got distracted watching TV again. And I just finished it now. So, it looks all done. I haven't powered it on yet, so I'm I'm really hoping that it works. So, if not, we'll do a take two. But, um, so here we have the H100i up there um, with the Gentle Typhoons. That was kind of a pain in the butt to, to do all by yourself, but it's doable. We have the Corsair fans. Um, I do and don't like them for installing reasons. Um, if you're just using the typical short fan screw, they suck. They're terrible. If you're using a fan screw that goes all the way through, they're awesome. Because uh, what happens is when you start to turn it, this rubber will bind and turn it with it, and that's just really, really annoying. Um, I put my solid state down here, which I think is going to look really good. I'll let you guys tell me below. I did finally get the lighting in down here and down below, so I'm pretty excited to see if that worked the way I wanted it to. I was going to put a fan down here and replace this fan, but again, unless you have these long screw heads, uh, then I hate these fans. Uh, on the back, you see the I.O. Uh, now the... This is kind of disappointing. Uh, the 800D when it came uh, didn't have any internal USB headers, so they're all external. So I had to run the wire all the way from the front, all the way in by the 8-pin connector by the, for the motherboard, and then out this... Luckily, I had a water tubing hole, so that's really lucky. Uh, and then connect back here. Uh... Graphics card. Oops, I forgot to build this in. I have it. Where is it? Right here. Ah, huh, so I'm not quite done. Alright, so I have that to do. Uh, put the case badges on the back because I really like. Oh, focus. There we go. I really like having some recognition for the companies that you use. Uh, you did spend money on them right so you should be pretty proud that you have them but I really like the the clean look of the 800D so I didn't want to ruin that wire management let me see I have my handy dandy flashlight it's really bright so I'm sorry if this blinds you oh uh, that's not bad this camera's pretty good it's a Sony uh, next 3 it's their SLR that's really small so there's the front panel connections. We have the uh, cold cathode box there. USB headers. And then here's the Gentle Typhoon. Oh, I guess I can't pick it up. The Gentle Typhoons that I had sleeved. They look really good. Going into the Corsair fan splitter. That's controlled by the H100i. Uh, of course your front panel USB and audio and blah blah blah. Uh, your 24 pin connector and two or a six and an eight PCI Express connectors. Uh, yours, we have the oh man, it's weird filming it all by yourself again. Uh, serial for power. Yes, I still have an optical drive and I'll probably get rid of it, but it's there. And then uh, the H100i requires a serial. That looks really bad, but nobody's ever going to see it ever. Ever. Because you're going to have the side panel on, and it's guarded by some 3.5 inch bays. And then the second cold cathode box. There's one there, there's one there. The 8 pin on the 860i, I didn't, as in did not need an extension. 
So that's kind of cool. I really kind of want to push this over, but it's kind of tight. So I probably won't because it's not new at anything, but it, I, know, I wish it looked a little better. So I haven't tried to put the back on, but I'm going to, I mean, I guess it'll be fine. It'll definitely squish. No problem. So, see, I told you nobody would see that, those wires down there. So hopefully this will be good to go. I have manual here just in case there's any errors. So let's see where that's at in the book. Oh wait, was it right there on the back? That'd be cool. No, no, maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. Nope, nope, I was right. I was right. Wait, is there more than this? Sorry, I guess I should have done this before I was on camera. I think this is the last page. Okay. Debug LEDs. Alright, wish me luck guys, here we go. I already plugged it in. I did kind of think. Alright. Power on. Uh, I hope that's not supposed to be blue or green. So we'll try it. Oh, everything's turning on. So that's good. Ooh, I don't know what's going on with those air codes. What's that? Um, we're gonna have to look at that. But it looks good. Look at that. Looks pretty snappy. Oh yeah. Uh, you're never gonna see this or that, and you can't see that one, and you can't see that one. So let's figure out what A E is. Uh, I would like to point out that this RAM looks very, very good. That'd be a cool picture. Uh, when I'm done, I'm going to take a picture of that. AE. Dun, 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 dun. Nope, not on that page. Here's some A's. A there it is. AE. What is it? Focus. Oh. Boot into Legacy OS. Oh, we're good. We're good. I'm assuming that's going to go away after I load in OS, but it's just booting into the BIOS. Um, so yeah. Here's the front. Now that we're finally done. Other than installing our software, of course. Look at that. I actually know what I'm doing. Just kidding. I do. I think I think that looks good. You guys tell me. I'm going to take some nifty pictures with Riley's nice camera. Uh, I ended up not using... Oh, sorry, you can see my mess. I ended up not using any hot swap drive bays for now. Uh, I wanted to keep them all open. Uh, for single terabyte drives that I can put in a RAID. Um, I also, as you see, moved all the cold cathode stuff down there so it wouldn't be in here because they're chrome. Why would I want chrome on an all-black case? That's dumb. So, uh, the Corsair, I think you can change, yeah, you, you can change colors on it, but I kind of like the, the white that it kind of sticks out. So, I might keep that. Anyway, uh, we're nearing 10 minutes. I'm going to try and keep these shorter. So I usually go to 20. Uh, this this fan filter I don't I don't like anymore. It was really cool. But ever since you or I put screws in, it doesn't lie flush because they didn't make it wide enough. Which is silly. Because it's intended for this case. So I don't know why they did that. But... I might leave it there. The Gentle Typhoons move with quite a bit of air. Uh, oh, that's the other thing. The Gentle Typhoons. I only have two in. Uh, because I don't have the long screws that go through 
into the radiator. It only came with eight. Kind of disappointing. Kind of disappointing, not going to lie. So I'll have to pick up some of those. Uh, I'll probably pick up a bunch because then the Corsair fans are useful again. Uh, so I'm pretty stoked about that. But I'm going to go load Windows and Steam and play... Actually, I probably won't. It's really early. It's like 3 o'clock. Yeah, it's it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm, I'm not playing anything. But... There we go. 780. I can't wait. It's going to be sweet. Let me know, guys. Let me, let me know what you think.